promise to Abraham. Genesis 22, verse 18. In your seed, all nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Galatians chapter 3, verse 8 and 16. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all the nations shall be blessed. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He does not say unto seeds as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, who is Christ. Here we see the promise that God made to Abraham, which is a promise, a prophecy, pointing to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. God speaks to Abraham in Genesis chapter 22, and he says, In your seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Now, as Paul explains to us in Galatians 3, when God spoke to Abraham and said, in your seed, he was not referring to the multitudes of descendants, but he was referring very specifically to the one who is Christ. He was referring to Jesus Christ. He said, in your seed, singular, that is in Christ, all nations, all families will be blessed. That means this, there's going to come a descendant of Abraham, that one very specific descendant who will be a blessing to the nations of this world. And Paul points, uh, points out that that seed is Jesus Christ. What a powerful prophecy. And sure enough, Jesus came as a descendant of Abraham, and he came to bless all nations. Literally today, when you look around the world, the impact of the life that Jesus, of the life of Jesus Christ, on all nations of the earth. There is no place on this planet where we could go and, uh, and, and, and the gospel has not yet reached. Yeah, there may be a few people, groups here and there, that are yet to hear the gospel or receive the gospel in their language. But in uh, essentially the, the, the message of Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ has covered the globe. And on every continent, and on, in every place, the name of Jesus is, has been proclaimed and has brought the saving work of Jesus, the salvation of Jesus Christ, all over the world. Through this one seed, the nations of the earth have been blessed. They received the salvation of God and the free gift of eternal life and His redemption and His, his, his powerful work in their lives through Jesus Christ. This prophecy, given many, many uh, centuries ahead of its time to Abraham, fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ and continues to be fulfilled today as nation after nation receives the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the beautiful thing is this, that we being in Christ are channels through which this blessing is being extended to all families of the earth, because we are in Christ. And in Christ, Paul writes, we are Abraham's seed, and we inherit this promise, and we become a channel of this blessing to the nations. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this amazing prophecy that, that one descendant of Abraham will be a blessing to the nations. And we see that prophecy fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we worship you, we exalt you. And God, I pray for those listening, that the blessing of the gospel, the full blessing of the gospel, touch their lives. Forgiveness, healing, wholeness. Be released into their lives today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.